So today I am making some um, oyster sauce chicken with some veggies and rice. And also we'll be making my special recipe of mushroom soup. But today I will show you how to make separate like mushroom soup and cashew and mushroom soup, roasted cashew and mushroom soup. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to start first by obviously prepping like I always do, but uh, just join me as we get started. So right here I have my chicken. I have ginger. Anything that you're cooking for like Chinese or Asian inspired meals, ginger is really important. Obviously garlic and my peppers, I love them. I have here chili peppers that are dry chili peppers that are soaked for a while. You could also microwave this. I'll show you how to use this in your food and I'll be using those for garnishing. I have broccoli here, tangy clover um, and broccoli here for um, the, the oyster chicken. I will show you how to use that in it. So let's get started. First, with your ginger, you want to get a thin slice. And just try to get it as thin as possible. Obviously, we know that ginger is good for us, so. And try to get this as thin. And it, don't worry if it's not thin in the beginning. You could always just go back because you really want the flavors to come out. And if it's too thick, you won't really have the flavor in there. use as much as you want or as little as you want and this should be pretty much ready to go I'm gonna put that to the side next is our um, garlic you can soak this to make it easier to get the skin out because it just really helps or you can put it in a microwave to help get the skin out quickly. This I soaked, so it's a bit easier to get the skin off. A lot of people don't like dealing with <laughs> garlic because of the peeling and all of that, but we know it's good for you. One thing I love about garlic is it just gives like this interesting flavor for everything. Uh, I know some people don't like the smell, but I really love it. Especially when you use it the right way. And for the onions, you can cut it however you want. It doesn't have to be tiny or anything like that. Get it as I'm gonna get this part out. Lastly is the pepper. we're going to do is to get our chicken cleaned out. I hate getting chicken from the store and you have all this slag, like 
skin. So I like to just pull it like so. Get all of this cleaned out and all of this. Want to get it as clean as possible. A neat little part that is straggly. You get it cut. Just like in life, you get out all the kinks from your life because <laughs> they're not needed. And the same with this, you simply take it from the top and you pull it like so. Again, clean this out and get this out. chicken <laughs> this is a fun part and all you need to do if you don't have this kind of knife that's fine and it doesn't have to be perfect and all you want to do is make it bite size I feel like I'm on a mint shop or like a Chinese market <laughs> Wuhan though. <laughs> I have to throw that in. See that? Easy. And if you don't have this kind of knife, you can always use something like this, but see how it's just more work? But you can still do it. See that? Just watch for your fingers. Leave this to the professionals. And I think something flew, like a bone flew. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. And this is just a fun um, lunch or dinner. You can eat by itself, sort of like a stir fry, but it's also really great with rice. And we pretty much I'm losing some legs here. <laughs> you hear the chop? And you can make this even smaller. Um, you can get like a smaller knife and get more parts out. If you don't want the bone, you could debone it. But I love the bone because then I either get to like play around with the meat a little bit more. It's amazing that uh, with the COVID, the things are now back up, like opening up. Um, although I haven't really been out, so I can't really wait to see what that looks like. But at the same time, I'm also very careful just to be safe. Safety first. Ah. And, you know, some of them you may not be able to get, like, all the way thin and we're almost there the last little bit we're gonna start from the bottom this time and this is a great way to eat your chicken especially if you don't want um you know just always grilling and if you want to debone it let me just show you with this some of you that don't want the bone it just do this and hopefully I could get this and we'll have to use a knife okay. it's a bit of a mess here because the chicken tend to be really soft so you it's just more work scraping it cutting it out this way um, or you could just use a boneless chicken but what's the fun in that I'm going to just cut this and 
that's it. I'm gonna get this all cleaned out um, and then we'll head to the stove and get it all cooked. So you can see. Pretty nice, right? Okay. All right. So now we're going to stir fry. You can use sesame oil. Sesame oil is like your best bet, but I'm just using normal quote canola oil. And next we put And you want to just let that simmer. It smells really good. Next, I'm gonna put this. When you start putting the chicken, little at a time. And the case to kind of scare it. Mix it all in. Smells really good. I'm gonna add the rest of the chicken. Okay. Stir this together. This will be better with like a wooden spoon of sort, but this is fine. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Oil, like so. Just want to stir it more. The next thing you want to do is begin to add your um, spices. So here's sweet chili sauce, and this is just I'm eyeballing it. You could add at least maybe um, two tablespoons of each. This is the same sweet chili sauce, but I prefer this because it's the Thai chili sauce, my oyster sauce, just gonna put that in there, and because I've been doing this for a while, so it's soy sauce. It's about two tablespoons. I'm gonna stir. I want it to cook together. And I'm gonna put fish sauce. I'm gonna put about one tablespoon simply because it's very pungent. Next is my sweet, um, this is not so really, chili garlic sauce. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons. And it already comes with garlic and the rest of it. And I'm going to just let this simmer and cook together. So at this point I'm going to scoop them out because I really you could either just serve this this way because it's pretty much ready to go but I will be frying it sort of not frying it but stir frying it really so now you should have all your sauces just kind of all in there 
just gonna scoop everything out like so. It's nice and juicy and I mean you could serve this again this way. It works. And this broth you could use it for other things if you want. that i think this is all good to go and we'll be right back okay now we're going to stir fry this and i could easily just wait for all the to everything to like dry up you know like the water to dry up with it and i'm adding my onions scallions oh this kind of went in there this. And let's just start pouring this in. You don't want to have the water in there, so you have to be very careful. And you could do this in batches, even if you just want to like, maybe if everyone in your home <laughs> have different tastes, birds. And so now I'm gonna add just a little bit of that again. And the most important thing is my oyster sauce and soy sauce. This, I'm gonna put more. So now we'll just I'm gonna stir fry this. Let's keep going. And I'm gonna let this cook for at least five to seven minutes because I just really want it to be sticky. You could also add some uh, cornstarch if you want it to even get thicker, but I'm not going to do that for this particular one. So it's all done and ready to go. See how dark and lovely, and this is because of the soy sauce and oyster sauce. I'm going to show you how to dish this out. Just put as much. Like I said, you could also eat this by itself, or obviously you could um, eat it with rice. And this, you can use basmatic rice or just regular white rice. And I'm just gonna do two scoops of that. And we're done. Here is your oyster chicken with white rice. So this is all done. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention is if you don't have oyster sauce and the rest of them, soya sauce will do the same trick or you mix honey with brown sugar or brown sugar uh, with soya sauce and just it will still give you the same effect. So I'm gonna taste this. It was really good. It's, I mean, it just reminds me of going to the Chinese restaurant and enjoying some dinner and soul chicken. Mm. <laughs> Be careful with the bones. But until next time, thank you so much um, for subscribing, for following. Please like and share this video. I didn't get to cook the cashew, 
mushroom soup this week. I will cook it and post the video next week. So look forward to the next episode of God Love and Jalaf. Until next time, bye. <laughs>